City is preparing to host a tournament for one of the fastest growing games in the country. The World Pickleball Tour is making its way to the area now for the second year in a row. Queen City News reporter Brad Baldick is at the Charlotte Indoor Tennis Club. The event kicked off about 47 minutes ago. How's it going, Brett? Good morning, Ann Y and Jason. That was a very precise time that you had right there. So actually, let me uh, step out of the way so you can get a look at some of the play happening right now. So we're up above in the viewing area to give you kind of a better shot of what's going on. And of course, when we go to them, there are there we go. They take a break. But I would give you the play-by-play, -play, but I don't know much of what's going on other than it's called a dink when you are uh, volleying the ball back and forth. But uh, let's bring in... Meg Hollinsworth. She is uh, part of the, you and your husband own the Charlotte Indoor and Pickleball Club. Uh, so let's talk about that first. You guys had to change your name recently because pickleball has become so popular. Right. In the last two years, pickleball has exploded around the country and we have become Charlotte Tennis and Pickleball so that we can make way for all these pickleball players. We have 350 this weekend, but any other day of the week, we probably have, you know, 50 to 75 people coming out playing in open plays and lessons and clinics and whatnot. So um, it's growing. So, so when you took over this club, I mean, did you have any pickleball courts or did you have to add them? I guess, how has it been working over the last couple of years? Well, we've owned the club for 12 years, so when we bought it, it was all tennis, and then just last year added pickleball lines to our indoor courts, so we have 12 pickleball courts in, indoors and working on plans for outdoor courts. And this is one of the largest amateur leagues in the country, and you were just telling me it's fascinating to watch these guys and girls play. Oh my gosh, it's exciting because it's all ages and people from just all backgrounds and different locations. They're driving in from, I don't even know where all this weekend to be here. A lot of Charlatans, but folks coming in from various states to play in this tournament. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Before we send it back to Jason and why, I just want to show you guys uh, them playing one more time because we have a uh, particular boss at our work who does not like pickleball, but of course they stopped again. But um, they uh, are volleying or uh, dinking back and forth uh, pretty hard. So it's not, you know, just average sport where you just stand there. I mean, it's like tennis when you watch. They're really hitting it back and forth. So, uh, Ann Wyatt and Jason, I'll send it back to you guys. Unfortunately, all the courts are taken, so I can't play for you guys on live TV like we did last time. How unfortunate is that? Yeah. How uh, convenient. I hate that. Brad. <laughs> I hate that we're I know. missing. I even you dressed dink. the part today. Oh, did you really? Hey, that that is a first. <laughs> it's All like right, you Brett. knew yes. you weren't going to be. Anytime able you to... can wear gym shorts, anytime you can wear gym shorts and sneakers on a fr <laughs> on a Friday oh, to yeah. work is uh, best for me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, those are I'm flashy. sure no one wanted to see uh, my legs this morning, but there you go. All right, guys. Jason, back to you. It's finest. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate it. <laughs> it is